using the RTLSDR receiver. Open Plotter allows you to receive AIS data using an RTLSDR dongle. This device allows you to receive radio signals on a variety of frequencies. We can also use it for listening to marine VHF radio, traditional FM radio or even to receive weather charts. But let's start with AIS traffic information. Connect the RTLSDR dongle to one of the available USB ports. In order to install the application let's start the settings application in Open Plotter. Hit refresh and install SDR VHF. Then wait for the program to install. Now that the application is installed, let's configure it. Launch the SDR VHF application from the Open Plotter menu and edit the AIS app. If the device is connected correctly, you'll see it in the list of detected devices. To receive signals correctly, we need to calibrate it so it's listening on the correct frequency. We can enter a frequency correction in the settings under PPM. To know the correct number we'll need to execute three steps. The first step is to get the initial value. Wait for a couple of minutes to get a good cumulative PPM, and then press Ctrl, C. In this case the cumulative PPM is zero. Enter the number in the settings. The we can calibrate more precisely by using the cell phone signals. A good choice is GSM 900. This frequency should be operational in most countries. Wait for the software to detect what channels are available. Then look up the highest power value and copy the related channel number. In this case the most powerful one is channel 28, but this depends on your country and exact location. Enter the channel number and then get the PPM. The final step will tune to the indicated channel frequency and show you the average absolute error in PPM or parts per million. This has to be a numeric value, so round the number to the closest value. In this case, it's zero. Enter the value in the settings and press OK. When going to the Processes tab you can see that the Open Plotter RTL AIS service is active. We can also select to run the services at startup by selecting Auto Start. To check if it's working go next to a port and run Open CPN. Don't forget to connect the GPS dongle so we know our boat position as well. We need to enter the connection address and port as well. You'll see your boat in red and the other boats in yellow. A red line will show the direction you're going, and you'll also see the course of the other boats, if they are moving. I managed to get boats from a distance of over 2 nautical miles. Here we see a boat moving at 6.3 knots. And indeed, it checks out. To find places with boats, you can go to vesselfinder.com. You can find a link in the description.